It was Joseph Rock who started the Shangri-La Syndrome 100 years ago, from Jade Dragon Snow Mountain, a holy place to the Naki people. I followed his path and discovered their wisdom. I came upon the spirit of the horseman who traversed the thousand-year ancient tea horse road. And I met yet another Shangri-La in Lijian, where snow-capped mountains and valleys have created a rich land over the years. Just where is the Shangri-La I've been searching for? Shangri-La in my heart. I'm off to the old town of Lijian to find the thousand-year wisdom that they speak of. Shangri-La is the setting for the novel Lost Horizon. It is also a land of endless time and celestial wisdom. I am off to the old town of Lijian in search of Shangri-La. The old town of Lijiang is situated on a highland 2,400 meters above sea level, below Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. It is a city of the Naki people. Built in the Song Dynasty, it dates back almost 1,000 years. Lijiang is one of the most desired travel destinations by the Chinese, along with Zhang Jieji and Huangshan. At the entrance to the old town is a sign that announces it is a world cultural heritage site. Millions of tourists visit every year. Dongba priests, symbolic of Nakis, as well as Naki women greet the endless line of tourists. The water mills are the starting point into the old town of Lijiang. I am told they are symbolic of the town. I wonder why these water mills are so symbolic. The perpetually turning water mill and the water flowing beneath holds the first key to the town's mystery. This world cultural heritage is not a memory of the past, but it prevails in the present. I'm entering the old town of Lijiang with a curiosity of its mystery. The sky embraces the mountains and the land embraces the waters. This is Black Dragon Pool, one of Lijiang's landmarks. This map shows a web-like network of waterways, as well as water mills in the shape of wagon wheels. Dozens of water mills exist here in the old town. The water mills set into the corners of the city are the heart of Lijiang, making the water flow like a labyrinth. The water that runs through the canals keeps the 1,000-year-old city alive to this day. Other cities were erected along roads, but the old town of Lijiang was built along the waterways. Hence, this is why the city is called the Venice of Asia. Water represents life. Here, people and nature both benefit from the water. 
This is three pool well, with three pools side by side. In the first of the three wells, you can find fish inhabiting the well. The water is also consumed as drinking water by residents. <laughs> People who have come to fetch water wake up the fish early in the morning. The first well flows into the second and on to the third, which is used for laundry. People wash produce in the second well. The townspeople boast that the purity of this flowing water is cleaner than tap water. The second pool is also used for washing. People wash and so does the parrot. Isn't it harmonious? You can't leave out the chattering of the townswomen who are gathered at a well. This is also a place for communication. People gather one by one to do laundry as the sun reaches its zenith. The Three Pool Well preserves a thousand year daily lifestyle. Lijiang people follow an unspoken agreement which is the natural way in law. They learn the wisdom of community through this water. Now, let's get to the center of this town. This is Mufu Palace, the forbidden city of Lijiang. This palace was occupied by the Mu family of the Naki people for over 400 years through the Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties. Oh. Mufu means palace of the Mu family. By today's standards, it is a local governmental office. This is where the Mu family, Li Jiang's royalty, ruled Old Town. There's something on the ceiling. It's a dragon, a symbol of the emperor. But the throne is empty. It means that the citizens will not oppose the emperor and that they will obey him. The assembly hall in the center of the palace 
and all the buildings are versions of the buildings in Forbidden City on a smaller scale. Jade Dragon Snow Mountain looms over Mufu Palace. Another key in revealing the mystery to Lijiang Shangri-La is hidden here. I'm provided a panoramic view of the old quarters from atop the Wangu Pavilion, the tallest structure in Mufu Palace. However, at a glance, it isn't easy to distinguish between the palace buildings and civilian homes. 자, 보시면, 궁궐과 민가에는 담장이 없습니다. 왕족인 목시가 담장이 생기면 곤란한 곤자가 되기 때문입니다. 아마 왕족인 목시가 백성과의 소통을 중시했기 때문에 담장을 만들지 않았지 않겠습니까? The high walls of the Forbidden City represent absolute power. But the open design of Mufu Palace symbolizes communication with the people. This wallless palace now opens the hearts of outsiders who visit Li Jian. Alleys are hidden between the adjoined roofs of these houses. I wonder what other stories might be concealed here. Children are trailing along, holding on to the shirt tails of the person in front. It's to prevent them from getting lost in the maze-like alleys. How complex it must be for someone to be inspired enough to make a film out of it. Another path appears if you turn a bend. If you lose your way, you'll meet someone new. And if you follow that person, you'll find another path. It's fun, even if you get lost. I'm surprised and amazed at how the old town of Lijiang could retain its appearance for over 1,000 years. Lijiang 고성의 전체 건축물이 나무와 나무끼리 못 하나 없이 다 건축이 되어 있습니다. 야, 아마 이런 공법들이 큰 지진에도 견딜 수 있었던 것이 아닌가 생각해 봅니다. In 1996, an earthquake that rated 7 on the Richter scale hit Lijiang. The new quarters were demolished, but amazingly, the old city built by the Naki people was undaunted. This earthquake is how the hidden city of Lijiang was brought into light and was designated a World Cultural Heritage Site the following year. Another World Cultural Heritage are the Dongba symbols. 이게 하나같이 전부 다가 보면 동파 문자로 되어 있습니다. 
This is a hieroglyphic script called Dongba. The lettering is inscribed all around Lijiang, along with English and Chinese. Dongba symbols are hieroglyphs that Naki people have been using for over 1,000 years. Look hard and you'll see the characters learn, and the picture of someone hitting with a stick is the character hit. A spirit floating in the moonlit night means dream. Dongba symbols are the only hieroglyphic script that humankind still uses today. They're so fascinating and fun that I ventured to a research center for Dongba characters. Registered as memory of the world, Dongba priests worked to pass them on. Wow. Something is dripping from a heart. What could it mean? This time I asked him to write Shangri-La. He told me to write it too, so I drew my own version of Shangri-La. Can you determine what it means? The Dongba priest Shangri-La and mine seem to have the same meaning. I was in envy of the easygoing ways and mental richness of the Lijiang people as I toured, but I realized that the vast land and pure waters from the snow-capped mountain are what have created this bounty. I'm off to Baisha, a village next to the old town of Lijiang. Baisha is, by Korean standards, the Gyeongju of Lijiang. The village retains the period of 1,000 years. Eighty is still young in this village. Calling. Ah, 
전 중국 내에서 나시족이 평균 수명이 가장 길다는 겁니다. 할아버지는 계세요? 예예 나 예예. 예예 사나 예예. 아저 돌아가셨구나. 예예. I wonder from where the wisdom of longevity springs for these people. I sought Dr. Ho, the Schweitzer of Lijiang, who's over 90 years old. Speak English. Yeah. Yes. Because when I was a boy, I learned English. Well, I'm an American botanist, Dr. Joseph Rock. Dr. Charles Roy, she was a botanist of USA before 1949. She was still in China about 27 years. Mm. She told me English. 안녕하세요, 할머니도 계시네. This is my mother. 할머니 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 89. Naki called Dr. Ho eccentric Ho Shi Ji, while to Westerners he is known as Dr. Ho of Shangri La. Oh, that's also same, same family with the Thai. Mm. But the good thing is the people here are hard with that. Oh. That, 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 oh. that, that, that. That's why they for cough. Mm -hmm. They call La. The door plate reads, Jade Dragon Snow Mountain's Herbal Treatment Office, which shows how he has spent his whole life searching for herbs in the mountain. Many, many herbs. Oh. All herbs. All oh, herbs. All herbs. All herbs. All herbs. Dr. Ho's garden is full of rare herbs he has found on Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. This is also me. Well, this meat is a UK study in medical school. You see, it's different. No. 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 Ah. It's a te in the textbook. Okay. In the ah, medical school. 박하 냄새가 전혀 없고 조금 전에 조, 조금 전에 이거는. It is no in the textbook. Okay. Only snow malty. Hmm. You Pakha. Only snow malty. Only. Oh, 对, 很特殊. Doctor Ho is an expert on the medical text, oh. J Dragon Snow Manual. The Nanki version of Mirror of Eastern Medicine. He has collected and studied the herbs on Jade Dragon Snow Mountain his entire life. I just give you a small example. Kingdom plants. It's not this here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Only from the snow mountain. Seven generals. Journey to Shangri-La. It is uh, from uh, Rinder Dazist uh -huh. in America. Rinder Dazist. Perhaps some considered this to be Shangri-La because of the mystical herbs. Dr. Ho is feeling my pulse. Oddly, though, it seems he is looking into my soul to diagnose my body. He has caught me neglecting my health, making excuses over my busy lifestyle. Not only use a uh, skin, take your whole body. But if you don't mind, let me ask you some questions. <laughs> Activity. Qi is not a balance. Qi is a balance. Qi is a balance. Qi is a balance. Qi is a balance. He felt my pulse and has given a prescription. 
What is this powder? Dried herbs from Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. How much does it cost? Dr. Ho doesn't accept fees, but says a donation for research is enough. No side effects. Smell very nice. I'm told this medicine will make me healthy. I'm to brew it as a tea. He seems to have prescribed the leisure of a cup of tea as well, and gave me one more bit of wisdom before I left for Shangri-La. Uh, where is the Shangri-La? In my heart. Heart. Be happy. Happiness is badness. Eh? Smiley, be happy is badness. Eh? You choose. Time is slow in the old town of Lijiang. The people here live slowly, like the slow flow of the waters, and do not fight against the current. Perhaps that is the secret to their long lives. Someone has taken root here, enamored by the charms of Lijiang. Hey, Mago. Hey. Hello. Hey, Dr. <laughs> this is my old friend Mago. Mago settled in Lijiang 10 years ago and paints Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. Mago, he has painted over 300 pieces up to now and is referred to as the Gauguin of Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. The size itself excites me. He has compared the busy lives of modern man, the consistency of Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. Mago, what's that? You're not a man. You're <laughs> Mago tells me there is something he watches a lot lately. Shangri-La from the book comes to life on screen. Welcome to Shangri-La. It's been ages since we've walked the alleys of the old quarters together. The place where we used to have a quiet cup of tea is now milling with tourists. Horsemen have been replaced with a tourist attraction at the square. Mago says he doesn't dislike the change. It's a rather natural phenomenon and he enjoys it. Mago says the only difference is that 1,000 years ago, horsemen passed through these streets, but now tourists do.
Jifangji Square used to be a trading center for those from ancient Tea Horse Road. But now there is a daily traditional dance show here. It seems to me that Naki traditions in the ancient city transcend 1,000 years. Li Jiang's night is more beautiful than its day. The venerable village takes on a glowing sheen. And candlelit lotus flowers carry prayers through the 1,000-year-old waterways. Candlelit lotuses originate from Naki customs. The water flows today, carrying along the spirit of the people, while the time in Shangri-La also passes by. Deeper into the night, the old quarters become a haven for the young. So many people will continue to come here in search of Shangri-La, and Li Jiang will be the same then too. Even today, in Li Jiang's old town, water flows along with the spirit of the people and the time of Shangri-La. 正理好心情再出发。